<clears throat> I've said it before and I'll say it again. I have a Ukrainian wife. Nothing scares me. Um, I've developed a thick skin <laughs> over the years uh, from that principle alone, but from life itself. I was a cop for a little while. Um, as an anarchist, it was a, a pretty crazy experiment. <laughs> to try and change the world from the inside. But as such, I went through training, and in the training, you know, I had to stand on a riot line with a bunch of college kids who had been recruited to call me every name in the fucking book. It was my job not to react to that, not to respond to that. That's why they were there. That was their job. Now, I'm over here with these, you know, witches, on witch talk, that are supposed to be, you know, witches, bold, brash, in your face, defying convention. But no, just a bunch of snowflakes like the rest of them all out there. Um, that's what we have going on here. Um, if you get so offended by somebody saying something bad about you on the internet that you stalk them and contact their employer, um, you ain't somebody I need to be around. Um, you're a snowflake witch. Um, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I probably won't find it for this video, but I will find the snowflake witch song um, uh, that Aunt Marta wrote. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to start playing that again. Um, ever since I took the 30-day uh, no drama challenge on every freaking social media channel that there is drama. Drama. People calling me my fucking phone. Drama. Um, there's drama on... Uh, 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 a Discord server that I don't even own anymore. <laughs> People are attacking because they think it's mine. I don't even, I never understood Discord, used it once or twice and abandoned that server a long time ago. I'm sorry, anybody that followed me that's on that Discord server, but it ain't fucked in mind, people. Uh, you people have lost your minds. You're going to cloak it up in some chivalrous, uh, honorable thing. You're protecting the weak. You're protecting this. No, you're not. You're a bunch of assholes. You're a bunch of assholes on the Internet attacking other people because it's entertaining to you. That's your entertainment. There's real stuff going on in the world. Stuff that affects us all. Project 2025 will put us all at the stake and you all are fighting with each other over breadcrumbs and I'm so over it. My God, wake up, people. Be woke. What the fuck? My God, you fight each other over such petty crap. Somebody says something wrong to you or you interpret something that they said is wrong to you and you launch into these huge battles and warfare and hexing each other when you could be doing your magic to change the goddamn world that's why you're here that's why we're here that's why we've been given this ability to be on the internet can you imagine the ancestors of any of your traditions thinking that this could happen while they're hiding and skulking around and trying not to be killed? That they could be on the internet teaching their ways, their traditions, spreading them so they don't become lost? They bitch slap you every one of you for what you have wasted wasted we may get this whole 
TikTok thing banned in the United States. And if you have wasted it at the time that happens, that'll be your place in history. That'll go down in internet history. Those videos will be out there and we will see what you did with your time. All we can do in this lifetime is make the best use of the time we have. Is this the best we can do? Really? Is this the best we can do? Gossip, rumors, spending several hours on live broadcast just discussing gossip and rumors. Can we learn some magic, man? We have connections to all over the world right now. All the magics in the world are right here. And we can't connect to learn those from each other. We're wasting it. You're wasting it. I'm wasting it. Uh, but, but not right this moment. <laughs> Not this right this moment. I, I definitely, you know, I've been caught up in it plenty of times. I know. But I come from a time before there was an internet. And we had these things called BBS systems. And they, uh, private computers that called each other at night through dial-up um, internet. And they exchanged information. We had, you know, we had, uh, you know, forums. We had posts. We had email. Email could take longer than snail mail to reach the other side of the coast because the way it worked, one computer called the other computer at midnight exchanging information. And then this computer had to wait till the next midnight to exchange the information with the next computer. So, um, it ran a lot like the internet, uh, but it wasn't quite the internet yet. But some of the first people to latch onto that and to pioneer that technology, the BBS technology, was the Pagan Information Network. And the Pagan Information Network was all about us. And it was all throughout the United States and into um, two, two hops into England and one hop in Ireland. And it was the first time that our people had been able to communicate in a digital way. And you know what didn't happen? We didn't waste a fucking second. We had no bullshit. None of this went on. You're a bunch of spoil witches is what it is. All of this has been given to you too easily and, and most of you didn't have to suffer through the times that we didn't have this. You didn't have to struggle to get this free speech for our people. And maybe you need to step back and learn some things. I'm sick of talking about this. I'm going to go do some other shit. Uncle Birch. <laughs>